Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on antenna. Okay, so this video is a continued discussion. Okay, so much earlier on, I have done the discussion on the key parameters of antenna. Okay, so this video, I'm going to focus on polarization. Okay, so under this antenna polarization, we have linear, circular, and elliptical polarization. Okay, so under linear, we have something called the vertical polarization and horizontal polarization, okay, which I think you guys are very familiar. Okay, so this video, I'm going to fully explain okay, what are all these types of polarization. This will be the part 7 series discussion on antenna. So guys, if you're keen to know more about antenna, okay, please take a look on the playlist okay, under the description. Over there, you will be able to find a series of discussion on antenna. This is my email. If you have any question regards on this discussion, please drop me an email. Okay, or if not, if you want to have a faster response, you are always welcome to ask me through the comment. Guys, also feel free to give me some suggestion how to improve the quality of this channel and also maybe some topic that you guys are keen okay, so that I can customize to your need. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by like this video. Okay, when more of you guys actually like this video, this video will have a higher chances to reach up to a larger audience. So guys, help me by like the video now. For those who are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. Okay, so these are what I have discussed early on on the parameters of antenna. Okay, as I mentioned earlier on this video, I mainly will concentrate on antenna polarization. Okay, so what is actually an antenna polarization? Okay, antenna polarization actually refers to the orientation of the electric field. Okay, keep this in mind. We only concentrate on the electric field, not on the magnetic field. Okay, so basically we would like to see what is the orientation of the electric field of a radio wave that is actually relative to the Earth's surface. In short, okay, so basically, the orientation of the electric field okay, with respect to the Earth's surface will determine okay, what will be the polarization, okay, which we are going to take a close look soon. Okay, it is determined okay, by the antenna physical structure and orientation. Okay, what kind of orientation, or, or sorry, what kind of polarizations is actually depends on the physical structure of the antenna and also what kind of orientation of the antenna. Okay, polarization play a crucial role in how effective an antenna can receive or transmit radio wave to and from the other antenna. Okay, to ensure optimum communication, the polarization of the antenna must match. Okay, which means that if you have vertical, you must go to vertical polarization. Horizontal must go to horizontal polarization in order to have this optimum communication. Okay, so basically, we must achieve the match of the polarization. Okay, so there are three primary types of antenna polarization. Okay, as I mentioned earlier on, okay, this video, we are concentrate on linear polarization, circular polarization, elliptical polarization. Okay, so under this linear, we have many three types. One, vertical, which we are very familiar, and also horizontal. So basically, over here, you can see that vertical and horizontal polarization Basically, we are quite familiar. Slant polarization. Okay, so I will explain a little bit on what is actually a slant polarization. Okay, under this circular polarization, okay, we actually have two types. One is we call a right hand circular polarization, okay, which means that clockwise. Okay, left hand circular polarization, which means anti clockwise. Okay, again, later on, we are going to take a close look. And then last but not least, elliptical polarization. Okay, so basically, these are all the types of antenna polarization but in short there are many just three types of antenna polarization and under them there is actually so-called a subset okay the polarization of an antenna is generally defined as the orientation of the electromagnetic field produced by the antenna as energy radiate away from it okay i will explain this again okay so basically uh, what kind of polarization in fact more on the circular polarization is actually depend where you actually look at okay whether is it from the source antenna 
or the receiving antenna. So basically, in short, basically based on the direction, okay, the polarization may be different, okay, which I am going to explain later on. Okay, so this field determines the direction in which energy move away or it or is received by the antenna. Okay, so basically, I will emphasize this again, but in short, let me quickly explain on linear polarization. And in fact, this is the most common polarization. As I mentioned earlier on, okay, under this linear polarization, we have vertical, horizontal polarization, which we are very familiar. I will do a quick explanation on these two. And then we also have this slant polarization. Okay, so under this pol vertical linear polarization, okay, the electric field, okay, remember we I enforced or I specified this E field. Okay, basically we only look at the E field. Okay, oscillate in a single plane. Okay, linear polarization can be either vertical, horizontal, or slant at an angle. Okay, so typically about 45 degrees for this slant. Okay, vertical polarization okay, basically refers to the oscillation of an antenna electric field in the vertical plane. Okay, so later on, I'm showing you a diagram. Okay, so basically, it will be more clear. Okay, whereas horizontal polarization refer to the oscillation in the horizontal plane. Okay, so basically, which means that the E field, okay, basically, they are actually in a vertical plane. So therefore, it's called a vertical polarization. As for this case here, horizontal polarization means that the E field is actually at the horizontal plane. So therefore, it is classified as horizontal polarization. Okay, for example, this is what you mean. If the electric field is oriented vertically, okay, which means that they are altering up and down, okay, which means the signal up and down or sine wave up and down as the wave travel, okay, the radiation is said to be vertical polarization. Okay, so this slump polarization, okay, simply simply actually they actually refer that the E field oscillate at a 45 degree angle to a reference plane. Okay, so let's take a close look on the key difference between these three. Okay, I think this diagram speed so-called a million words. Okay, imagine this is basically uh at the bottom is actually the earth ground. Okay, so basically this will be the earth ground. Okay, so the red color is actually the electric field. Okay, so as I mentioned, the polarization actually depends on the electric field. Okay, we are going to neglect the magnetic field. We are going to just so-called concentrate on the electrical field okay, or E field, which is in red over here. So in this direction here, for example, you can see that okay, the E field is actually on the vertical, poli uh, vertical plane. Okay, so basically, they are actually on the vertical plane. So therefore, for this kind, we actually call the vertical polarization. Okay, so this is what we mean by vertical polarization. Okay, over here you can see that the E field actually slip onto the so-called horizontal plane. And therefore, this we conclude that this is actually a horizontal polarization. Okay, I think this is quite straightforward. Basically, you can see the direction of the E field. If they are actually on the vertical plane, then it's called a vertical polarization. As for this case, you can see that the E field is actually on the horizontal plane. So therefore, we call this under horizontal polarization. Okay, over here, this is what we call a slant. Okay, you can see that typically, let's say about 45 degrees. So basically, they are not so-called, they are not on the vertical. They are also not on horizontal plane directly. So therefore, this kind, we normally will call this as a slant polarization. So basically, this is what is under the linear polarization. Basically, we have Vertical, horizontal, and also slant depend on the E field. Remember, keep this in mind. Depend on the electric field. Okay, so this is a simple so-called animation to let you fully understand on the linear polarization. Okay, so this one I done slightly different. So basically, the blue one is the electrical field. So basically, you can see that this is actually the under the E field. The red one is under the magnetic field. So basically, from here you can see that let's say the this is the ground okay, of the earth. So over here, you can clearly see that the E field is actually on the vertical polarization. So basically with this, okay, this is what we call uh, vertical polarization. As you can see that the E field is actually on the vertical plane. Okay, so basically, this is how you can de determine okay, whether is it so-called uh, vertical polarization or horizontal polarization. Okay, so I think this is quite easy to understand.
Okay, let's continue okay, on the circular polarization. Okay, so this is slightly challenging. So follow me closely. Okay, circular polarization. Okay, basically the E field of a radio wave actually rotate in a circle. Okay, we keep this in mind. Later on, on the next slide, I will explain this again. Okay, so the radio wave actually rotate in a circle. So basically the, the field actually change in a circle. The magnitude remain the same. So therefore, they actually complete one full rotation for each wavelength. So basically, once they finish one rotation, they actually done with one wavelength. This is what you mentioned here. Okay, this rotation can occur in two direction. Okay, one is right hand circular polarization. Okay, which is the clockwise. Okay, so this is what we call the clockwise. And then on the other one is is actually called the left hand circular polarization. Okay, so basically they actually depend on the direction of rotation. Okay, so like what I mentioned, okay, I have a diagram to explain this so it will be much, much clearer. Okay, when the electric field rotate to the right, okay, keep this in mind, when they rotate to the right, this is what we call the right-hand circular polarization. Okay, when it actually rotate to the left, it is called the left-hand circular polarization. Okay, so I think at this moment, this is still not clear. Okay, let me play a uh, animation so you are very clear on this here okay so basically keep this in mind earlier on i mentioned this okay so basically they rotate in a circle okay so basically can you see this break uh, this blue color circle here and can you see that another uh, so-called thicker arrow here you can see that they actually turning okay at this circle okay so this is what you mean on this line here okay the radio wave rotate in a circle Okay, so basically, as I mentioned earlier on, the magnitude will be constant. And once they complete one turn, okay, basically, they finish with one wavelength. So basically, this is the meaning of this circular polarization over here. So basically, why this is called a circular polarization is very clear that we actually have a circle over here. So therefore, we call this form a circular polarization. Okay, so now we are going to take a close look whether is this so-called right hand or left hand. Okay, circular polarization of an electromagnetic wave is a polarization state in which the magnetic field of the wave has a constant magnitude and rotate at a constant rate in a plane perpendicular to the wave direction. Okay, you can see that this circle okay, is actually perpendicular to the wave direction, which means that this is actually perpendicular to the direction the electromagnetic wave actually moves. Okay, in a traveling circular polarization, electromagnetic wave, the E field vertical actually rotate in a plane perpendicular to the direction of travel. Okay, so this wave is right hand or otherwise circular polarization. Okay, so basically in short over here, let me explain how to tell whether is it left or right. Okay, basically you look at this angle here. Okay, when you actually look at this angle here, you can see that this thing is actually rotate in this direction. Okay, which means that they are actually so-called clockwise. Can you see here? Can you see that it's actually at this direction? Okay, so basically they look you look at this direction, you can see that they actually so-called rotate at a clockwise. So therefore, with this we I conclude that this is actually under the right hand circulation. Clear? So basically, this is actually what we call a, a so-called right hand circulation. Okay, no worry, I'm gonna have more uh so-called explanation. How to tell whether is it so-called right hand or left hand circulation? Okay, so before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys, okay, if you have learned something, help me to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And also, guys, remember this is also very important. Okay, turn on your bell. Okay, so that in the future, okay, when I actually upload a video, you will be able to know when I exactly look up a video. Okay, so this is another explanation, okay, how to tell whether is it uh, so-called left hand or right hand. Okay, so basically, this is how the field actually move. Okay, uh, let's, let's don't do well so much on this here. So basically, right hand, okay, basically circular polarization. Okay, this will, let's say, uh, this, let's say this is right hand polarization. Okay, this will be considered left hand. Okay, so basically, depend on the direction or maybe on the view of the source. Okay, or the receiver. Okay, so this can be either left hand or right hand. Okay, for example, if you are going to take a look on this view here, which I'm looking at over here, you can clearly uh, you can see that this thing actually move what? You can see that they actually move anti-clockwise. So this is actually a left hand polarization if I look into this angle. But if I look at 
the other angle here, if I look at the other angle here, okay, you can see that the thing actually moved in a, so called, sorry, if you look at the other direction here, okay, so basically you can see that they actually, again, you can see that they actually move in a clockwise direction on another look, on another view. Okay, so basically I'm not able to draw this another view, but from here you can see that they actually turn at a clockwise and therefore this is what we call a right hand so-called polarization. So in short over here, you must determine which direction you actually look at. Okay, based on the direction that you look at, okay, most of the time we actually look at the transmitter side. Okay, with transmitter antenna. So basically, let's say for, for this case here, let's say the electromagnetic wave actually move into the paper. You know what I mean? So basically the electromagnetic wave actually move into the paper. So therefore, from here, I conclude that if this is this will be the transmitter view. And if this is the transmitter view, you can see that they actually turn anti-clockwise. So this is what we call the left-hand circular polarization. Okay, so basically if we look at the receiving end antenna, so then this will call the right-hand circular polarization. Again, this circular polarization, okay, you need to determine which is the direction that you actually look at, whether at the transmitter view or the receiver antenna view. Okay, I think this will speak a medium word. Okay, so basically, whether is this left hand or right hand, okay, basically depend on the direction you actually observe. For example, let's say we, we all, all observe from the transmitter side. Okay, why this part is transmitter is because I can see that the electromagnetic wave actually travel from the transmitter to the receiver, correct? So basically, this is what we mean by the transmitter view. And when we actually look at the transmitter view here, you can see that they actually move in a clockwise direction, correct? They actually move a clockwise direction. So therefore, this is what we call the right-hand clockwise circular polarization, okay, from the point of view of the source. Okay, so the source is over here, and when you actually look in this direction, you can clearly see that this is actually a clockwise, and basically we conclude that this is actually a right-hand circular polarization okay i know it's very difficult to see from this angle but just pause a few seconds here to understand this so if we look into this direction we can clearly see that this is actually turning clockwise and therefore we conclude this is actually a right hand uh, circular polarization as for this case again let's take a look on the source okay from here you can see that the arrow here they actually turn anti-clockwise from this angle here. They actually turn anti-clockwise. So therefore, we conclude this as a left-hand circular polarization okay, from the point of view of the source or the transmitting antenna. Okay, so hopefully with this, you actually have a better understand on the key difference between right-hand and also left-hand circular polarization. Basically, it depends on the point of observation. Okay, most of the time, like what I mentioned earlier on, we will observe from the transmitter side. So from the transmitter side, we will see either they will be clockwise or anti-clockwise on this circular. So based on that, okay, we will conclude whether is it left-hand or right-hand circular polarization. Okay, so last but not least, okay, let's quickly mention about this uh, elliptical polarization. Okay, so basically earlier on, I mentioned about circular. So basically you can see that at, at the circular polarization, you have a big circle. Okay, so basically, this will not have a circular polarization. They don't have a circle shape. Okay, so basically, in short, over here, they have this elliptical hexagon. So basically, not to confuse with the circular polarization, okay, this elliptical polarization actually refer to the E view that is propagated in an elliptical pattern similar to circular polarization. Okay, we also have this left hand and right hand. Okay, so basically, I think you probably can understand this better now. So basically, I don't have any animation to explain this, but over here you can see that based on the flow again, okay, therefore from there we can conclude that whether is it left hand or right hand depend on the orientation of the electric field. Remember, keep this in mind. We always enforce on electric field only. Okay, so with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Okay, please help to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Thank you.